welcome to the second lesson on analytical geometry. In this lesson, we'll look at the equation of a second with center, not at the origin. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the equation of a second centered not at the origin. Determine the center and radius of a second with center, not at the origin. Use knowledge of transformation geometry to second to find center, not at the origin. Second with center, not at the origin. This implies that the coordinates of the center is no longer 0, 0. The standard form of a circle with center, not the, at the origin, is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals to r squared. Where r represent the radius, a and b represent shift in the graph, which means that the center have shifted from the origin. Therefore, a, b also represent the center. When second is centered at the origin, 0, 0. Your A equals to 0 and your B equals to 0. Therefore, the equation of the second is x squared plus y squared equals to r squared because your A and your B equals to 0. Now, let's look at this equation. x squared plus y squared equals to 9. So, this means that our radius is, is 3. So this is the graph or the second of the equation x squared plus y squared equals to 3. And the equation has, the graph has the, the, the center at 0, 0. Now let's look at this equation x minus 2 all squared plus y squared equals to 9. So in this equation, your a equals to 2 and your b equals to 0. So let's see what happens to, to the graph. So we want to check the transformation from the graph of x squared plus y squared equals to 9. Now, here's the graph. So if you look at the graph, the graph has shifted. It has shifted horizontally by two units. So the graph is shifted to the, to the right, to the positive, and our A is also positive. Now let's look at another equation, x plus 2, all squared plus y squared equals to 9. So our A is 2, our A is minus 2, since we have positive, because the original equation is x minus A, therefore our A is 2 plus y squared, therefore our b is 0. So let's look at the graph. So the graph has shifted to the right, to the negative side, by 2 units. So the new center is minus 2, 0, and the center for x minus 2 squared plus y squared equals to 9 is 2, 0. So the graph shifts horizontally. When we add two, it shifts to the to the to the left to the right. When we add two, it shifts to the left when we subtract two. So therefore, when you add a, your graph will shift to the right. When you subtract a, the graph will shift to the left. Let's look at, again, the graph of x squared plus y squared equals to 9. Now, we want to look at what happens when we add b, when we add or subtract b. So, we have x squared, this time our a is 0, minus 2, all squared. x squared plus y minus 2, all squared equals to 9. So, let's look at the graph. So, the graph has shifted up by two units. So now let's look at when we when we subtract when b is negative. 
When V is negative, the graph will shift down by two units. And your center, the coordinates of the center is 0, minus 2. So if you have y plus 2 squared, your center will be 0, minus 2. So don't forget that our a is 0. So that's why we have 0. So when you have x squared, the first equation a1 x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals to 9. So the graph has shifted up. When we add b, the graph shifts up and our center will be 0, 2. Right. Now let's look at this equation. a1 x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 2 all squared equals to 9. So this time our a is 2 and our b is 2. So we want to see the graph. So the graph has shifted to the right by 2 units and up by 2 units. So the center of the new circle is 2, 2. So I want us to look at the center, the coordinates of the center, and the equation. If you look at the equation, we have x minus 2. Then when we write the coordinates of the center, it's positive. It was minus 2, but when we write the center, it's positive because the graph is shifted to the right. The same applies to y minus 2 or the y v. It's, it's positive. So we don't write the center as minus 2, minus 2. The, the, the coordinates of the center will be 2, 2. So we change the signs when we write the coordinates of the center. So let's look at another equation. x plus 2 squared plus y plus 2 all squared equals to 9. So here is the second. And the center is minus 2, minus 2. So if you look at the center, compare it with the, 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 the equation, we have x plus 2 all squared, y plus 2 all squared. So it's positive next to x and positive next to y. But when we write the center, we have negative 2, negative 2. So here I want us to be careful when it comes to change in sign from the equation to the coordinates of the center. So it's very, very important to change the sign when you write the center from the equation. So you won't be asked about transformations in the exam. So this presentation was only to show you the transformation from the equation of the second with center at the origin to the equation of the second with center not at the origin. So it's very, very important to see the change in sign. Now let's look at the equation of a second not centered at the origin. Looking at the diagram, we can see that the circle has center M, A, B as the coordinates, which is not at the origin. And we have P at the circumference with coordinates X, Y. And we have R as our radius. So using the distance formula, like we did in lesson 1, we can see that mp squared equals to x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared. And we know that mp equals to r. Therefore, mp squared equals to r squared. Therefore, x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals to r squared. So this is our a formula or equation for the circle centered not at the origin. So the equation of a circle with center 
AB is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals to r squared. Now we can multiply this equation x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals to r squared and it will give us the equation of the form x squared plus dx plus y squared plus ey plus f equals to z. And we can also manipulate this type of equation to get the equation of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals to r squared so that we can have it in the form of a center and a radius. Now let's look at questions involving circle with center not at the origin. Determine the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius of each of the following circles. A, x minus 4 all squared plus y plus 3 all squared equals to 18. B, x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 5y minus 4 equals to 0. So if we look at A, we can see that our A is 4 and our B is minus 3. Since the equation of the circle is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared. So our b is, is negative and our a is positive, which is a is 4 and b is minus 3. So the center is 4 minus 3. To find the radius, r squared equals to 18, we introduce square root, therefore you have r equals to square root of 18 equals to 3 square root of 2. Now let's look at this question using transformation. So since our a is positive, the graph, the, the, the center will shift to the positive or will shift 4 units to the right and three units downwards the center shift four units and three units downwards so our center is three four minus three Now let's look at B. x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 5y minus 4 equals to 0. So if you look at this equation, it's in the form x squared plus dx plus y squared plus ey plus f equals to 0. So meaning that to find our center and radius, we have to manipulate this equation by computing the squares. So now let's look at the steps. To find the center and the radius of any second, we have to manipulate the above equation to, to the form x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals to r squared. So the first step, we must first take the constant to the other side, which is to the right. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 5y minus 4 equals to 0. So we have to, our constant here is minus 4. So we must take minus 4 to the other side, to the right, which is to the right. So our 4 is positive, is negative. So we take it to the other side and then it becomes positive. Then we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 5y equals to 4. Now secondly, we group our x and y together so that we can be able to compute the squares for the x and the y's. We put them separately. So we'll have x squared 
minus 6x plus y squared plus 5y equals to 4. So we just grouped the x together and the y's together. Like we have two equations. Then from there, we start computing the squares. We take half the coefficient of x, we square it, and we add it. So half the coefficient of x is minus 6. Therefore, we take minus 6, we half it, and square it, then we have minus 3 squared. Then we take half the coefficient of y, which is 5, we half it, and we square it. Then it gives us 5 over 2 squared. Then from there, we add, we add half the coefficient of x and y. Then we'll have x squared, then we add minus 3 squared, x squared minus 6 plus minus 3 squared, all squared. Then we also add half the coefficient of y, which is 5 over 2 squared. Then we'll have y squared plus 5y plus 5 over 2, all squared. Then we also add them to the right. We also add minus 3 squared plus 5 over 2 squared. We add them to the right and to the left to balance the equation. Right. Then we'll, from there, we factorize. We have x minus 3 all squared plus y plus 5 over 2 all squared equals to 9 whole number 1 over 4. Then we can see that our A is 3 and our B is minus 5 over 2. Don't forget to change the sign when you move from the equation to the, to get the center. Right, to find the radius, R squared equals to 19, whole number 1 over 4, then we introduce square root. Therefore, R equals to square root of 77 over now let's look at c x squared plus 2y plus y squared minus 10y equals to minus 1 so if you look at this one already the constant was moved to the right and your x and y's are grouped so i suggest you pause the video and you do it on your own and see if you understand. Now, oh, here's the answer. We'll have x squared plus 2x plus 2 over 2, which is 1 squared, plus y squared minus 10y plus minus 10 over 2, all squared, which is minus 5 squared. Then you must add them to the left and to the right. Then from there, we'll have x plus 1, all squared, plus y minus 5 all squared equals to 25. Our center will be minus 1, 5. So don't forget to change the sign. And then our radius will have r squared equals to 25, which is equals to r equals to 5. Right, let's look at another example. Find the equation of the second shown in the diagram. So we have a diagram with O as the center of the second, minus 1, 3, and minus 5, 6 as a point on the second. So if you look at this diagram, we want to find the equation. So we are given two points, the center and another point. So meaning that we have to find the radius. So as the center is already given, we must write the correct formula, which is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals to r squared. Then we fill in the center in the equation. 
Then we'll have x plus 1 plus y minus 3 equals to r squared. And from there, we substitute another point for x and y to find r squared. Then we'll have minus 5 plus 1 squared plus 6 minus 3 squared equals to r squared. Then we find r squared, which is r squared equals to 25. Then we go back, we substitute r, then we have x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to 25. So this is the equation. Let's look at another question. Determine the equation of the circle passing through the points 2 minus 5, 4 minus 1, which form the diameter of the circle. So we are given the diameter. Find the diameter in its simplest form. So we are given the diameter in the two points on the circumference. So we know that the diameter is a line from the circumference to the circumference. It's a straight line from the circumference to the circumference passing through the center of the second. So meaning that to find the center of the second, we can use midpoint formula on the endpoint of the diameter. So we have 2 minus 5, 4 minus 1. So we can substitute to the midpoint x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we substitute. Then we have 6 over 2, minus 6 over 2. So then our center will be 3 minus 3. So the diameter passes through the center of the second. So we can use the midpoint of the diameter to find the center of the second. Right. Then to answer the question, we want to find the equation of the second. Then we have the center and a point. Then we can take the center and substitute the center to our equation. Firstly, you must start by writing the equation to show that you know the equation of the second with center not at the origin. But we substitute minus 3, I mean 3 minus 3, then we have x minus 3 all squared plus y plus 3 all squared equals 2 r squared. Then from there, we substitute any point, the other given point on the second. So the given point is 2 minus 5 or 4 minus 1. So it's either you substitute 2 minus 5 or 4 minus 1, as long as the point is on the second. So let's substitute 2 minus 5 to the equation. So we'll have 2 minus 3 all squared plus minus 5 plus 3 all squared equals 2 r squared. Then we'll have minus 1 squared plus minus 2 squared equals 2 r squared. Therefore our r squared equals 2 5. So we find our r. So from there we go back to substitute the r and the center so we have x minus 3 squared plus y plus 3 all squared equals to 5 so this is the equation right don't forget to write the equation so our radius is equals to square root of 5 because r squared equals to 5 so you know that the radius is half the diameter and the diameter is twice the radius therefore our diameter is equals to 2 times square root of 5 now before you start with questions relating to this topic it's important to understand the relationships between circles so let's look at the example of relationship between two circles we have circles that intersect at one point only and can touch externally or internally. So the first diagram shows circles that touches externally. 
at a common point and have a common tangent. And the second diagram shows circles that touches internally with common point and common tangent. So you can prove that the two circles touch at a common point by showing that they have the same tangent and a common point. The second one is circles that intersect at two points. So here's an example. So with this one, these two circles, if we solve for x simultaneously for the equations of these two circles, we must have two x values and two y values. Why? Because we have two points, two same x values and two same y values. Because the two circles intersect at two points. Circles that, that do not intersect. Here's an example. So if you solve for x and y simultaneously for the two equations, you'll have no solutions because the two circles do not intersect. So that's how you can prove that the circles do not intersect. You show that there's no solution when you want to solve for x and y. Now, it's also important to understand the relationship between the radii and the distance between the two centers of, the, of each of the circles. Let's look at this circle, two circles. Right, if you look at the two circles, the distance from the center to the center equals to the radius of the larger circle plus the radius of the smaller circle. The distance A, B equals to AC plus CB. Your R1 represents the radius of the larger circle and R2 the smaller circle. Right. Let's look at another circle, two circles, another diagram. If you look at this diagram, the two circles, the distance between the two centers equals to the radius of the larger circle minus the radius of the smaller circle. Your AB equals to equals to CB minus AC because the distance is small. Unlike this one, the distance between the two circles is large. Right, another example. We have two circles that don't intersect. So the distance from the center to center is greater than radius of the bigger circle plus radius of the smaller circle. So here's the distance from center to center, the distance from A to B. And the distance of the uh, uh, radius of the bigger circle is AC and the smaller circle is db. So you can see that we have a, a distance cd, which is part of distance ab. That's why we say the distance from center to center is greater than ac plus db. So your ab is greater than ac plus db because with ab we also have cd. Right, let's look at the last diagram. So in this diagram, the distance from the center to center, from AB to AB, from your AB to AB, is less than the two radiuses. So your AB is less than AD plus DB. So if you check, we have CD, which is between the two seconds. Right. Now here is the reference for this topic from different textbooks. Practice, practice, practice this topic and do more exercises. Enjoy. When the night Come and the land is.
dark And the moon is the only light we see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me